Until now we've been separate. Courses, conferences, and practitioners of hypnosis have been separated by geography, experience, and education. This is about to change. Hi, my name is Timothy Trujillo. This talk is entitled Hypnotherapy for Immune Disorders. The objective of this talk is to not only give you an overview and scope of how immune disorders break into their different categories and affect individuals, but also to give you some tools to help either yourself or clients who are affected by immune disorders. Now, immune disorders break into really three categories. First are allergic reactions. And allergic reactions are uh, a sign of a kind of overactive or overstimulated immune system. Uh, the, in, allergic reactions affect uh, a vast uh, amount of the population and uh, allergy control is a common issue that individuals seek help from a hypnotherapist for. Secondly are what are known as uh, immunodeficiency uh, uh, conditions. And immunodeficiency conditions are conditions wherein the immune system is failing to perform its role to defend the organism from either an exterior pathogenic uh, attack, such as germs, you know, viruses, uh, bacteria, etc., or failing to secure uh, improper cellular reproduction within the organism. That, that, that can then lead to cancers or other blood disorders. The third category of immune disorders is immuno autoimmune disorders. And autoimmune disorders are similar to allergic, allergic disorders. However, in the case of autoimmune disorders, the immune system is attacking the organism itself it is uh, failing to recognize in some way the difference between an exterior uh, pathogen or an interior disorder and instead becomes its own kind of disorder. Now conditions related to uh, immunodeficiency conditions, we're very familiar, familiar with HIV AIDS and cancer, hepatitis and another condition known as chronic fatigue immunity, immune Efficiency syndrome fall into this category. Autoimmune conditions, the common autoimmune conditions uh, that we see are rheumatoid arthritis, diabetes, thyroid disorders, and multiple sclerosis, and lupus. In each of these conditions, we have a common factor, and that is the function of the immune system. Now, we first when we think about immunity and the immune system, we think of this in terms of some defensive system, thwarting off some invasion or putting to an end some uh, inappropriate cellular function within the body. But if we look at the actual definition and function of the immune system, the definition of the immune system is that it recognizes or differentiates self and non-self. Based on that recognition then, a defensive response is mounted. So understanding the immune system is first understanding it not as a defensive system, but in fact as an identity system. And as it turns out, our body has its own kind of identity marker. Every single cell in our body has a molecule on it that sets it apart. And that molecule is known as MHC, or Major, major Histocompatibility Complex. It's like a name tag that helps uh, certain of the cells to recognize, hey, this is a part of me. I should secure it, protect it, and in the case of autoimmune disorders, leave it alone. This is where hypnotherapy lends a particularly beneficial uh, tool 
in managing immune disorders because so much of the work that we do as hypnotherapists is actually rooted in helping our clients to clarify their sense of identity. The more we can help an individual